Hello everyone, welcome back to Hammerhelm. In the last episode, we... God, these things are loud. We expanded our town quite a bit, and we actually had some issues with one of the miners that uh, was supposed to get us the coal. I restarted the game since then, and I let it run for a little bit, and it seems to be fine. I think it just got stuck somewhere or something. However, as you may also see, as I actually changed up the town a bit, and the look of our little house. So it turns out, you can actually, if you hold, what was it, left alt, no, left control, you can actually change and upgrade the house, and you can change what it looks like as well, which is pretty cool. I also changed the layout a bit, and I'm not sure if I want to keep it like this, but we can always change it later. Those fountains though are pretty dang loud for me. In the testing it wasn't that bad, but let me tell you, they are quite loud. Turning that down it didn't help a single thing. Well, because we're not going near our house. <laughs> Shit, actually we have to because this episode was, uh... No, we were gonna build our house in this episode. I can even hear it all the way back here. That must be a glitch. S certainly. I can still hear it. How the fuck can I still hear it? It's starting to feel like this isn't actually the game <laughs> anymore. But it's, uh like real life like a fucking pipe broke or something it is getting worse though when i get here yeah, it's definitely these things all right let's see if we can just move them will they start acting like normal again no they fucking wouldn't i don't understand the fucking sound is off i must have just i must go fucking insane <laughs> if i want it fucking stop all right let me reload the map i guess it is still pretty darn loud. I don't understand why. Alright, I'm just gonna, because I'm going insane otherwise, I'll just move them away to the corners here and hopefully uh, they'll fix it. I can still hear them even though I put them all the way over there. Alright, now let's actually start on what we were going to be doing, which is getting some supplies to put in our house because we're going to be decorating our place today. So let's see... What can we make? Now, we're going to have to upgrade it in stages because we don't have everything yet. So this one mainly has a couple lights. But they look like mainly outside lamps. Just some decoration. Okay. A storage box. That is something I certainly want, though. A bed. Can we craft a better bed, or is this it? This seems to be it for now. We also want to have a couple... Of those, I don't know why we can create extra stairs. I probably want to have a dresser, a table. There aren't any normal, like, chairs, so I guess we have to do with this. There really isn't a whole lot, so this video might be, uh, we might just have to do something else. I'll assume we'll unlock things later then. Wasn't there something else? Right, the uh, one that makes the clothes. Yeah, she makes the rugs and a bunch of the trophies, also some paint. Or we need some canvas. How many frames do we have? Two. Which ones are... Oh, I guess these are out of the picture. I guess we, uh, we'll go for these two, I suppose. Since it's the only ones we can make. So I guess upgrading our house, or furnishing it, rather, is something we'll have to do later. Now how do we... Can we just plunk it on here? No. How do we build anything? Alright, click the... Put it back down, please. Ah, there we go. Figured it out. Sweet. So, you need to interact. Ah, oh, this is so much better. So we can just put all these heads in here. Put our ore in there. Nice. And then we sh we're just going to hang the trophy as well. That's a possibility? Yes. The thing I want to have some cool wall of kills we have. Now there are windows back here, so that's kind of an issue. There seem to be four spots there. I'm not sure how many like bosses there are. But for right now, we'll just put it here. Okay, and then we have a painting. I guess we'll have one here and probably one in our bedroom. Yeah, I really don't have a lot, so this, uh, this looks kind of silly, to be honest. 
we should have probably waited until we had some more items. Only right there. There we go. You can't put anything in the dresser, which is kind of sad. Alright, well... Let's, instead, just talk to some of the townspeople, see what they want. So we have to ask her about books. Find the ruins, alright, we'll do that. I have to ask this guy about, about sunflowers. Alright, while well, we got that... Instead of going back to town, let's actually do the other quest first, so we can just hand them all in at once. I think I messed around with the sound so much that it's just broken again. Just walk through fi Whoa, fire does actually a lot of damage compared to what the steam did. I do know that there was an update, actually, now I think about it yesterday. I've been recording a bunch of episodes uh, in a row here. It is uh, decently, it's getting decently hot here in this room, so I kind of want to get a couple done, you know, before it gets annoyingly hot. Then I can at least edit them. I don't have to worry about sweating my ass off while recording. But that does mean that the previous couple episodes was were actually before the update. And I don't think there was a lot... But maybe that's the reason why I keep hearing the sound, because maybe it just broke the sound or something. I think literally the only update was something along the line of you can feed the dog a bone. That's a quest now, I'm pretty sure. And there was something else, but I don't remember the other thing. I also want to make sure I run over those bushes, because those bushes do have certain seeds. And just all these items that glow. And it's mainly because there are a couple crafting recipes that eventually do require them. Quest, that's quest complete. Good. Need to find Perim? Persein? Why don't I use over here? Quest complete. New structure unlocks Sunflower Garden. Okay. Well, let's check it out. Where are they at? They're probably all the way at the bottom then, isn't it? Yes. That's beauty to your town. Okay. Whoa. Ah, oh, it's a small patch, okay. Oh, we have some sunflowers. Sweet. The kind of the annoying thing is the door seems to be like off centered on the blocks, right? So it's like in between two uh, blocks, and I can probably a lot easier show it like this. You see, it's right in between these blocks, so making something even is really difficult. At this point, I feel like uh, getting to all three of the storehouses is probably not a good idea. Because there's going to be red men in all of them. At least it means we're getting a good bit of gold again. Let's see what our next project is going to be. So for the next mine, I would like to have that because currently I have no one producing iron because we run out of coal. So I have one guy collect coal instead. We need this jade. I don't know how to get that. I assume we'll just get it further down the quest line, though. We also still need the herbalist, a brewery. Can we just need 500 gold, to be fair. Also, I want to see... Oh. Okay. I wasn't 100% sure how that would work, but I guess it just uh, unlocks then. It seems like shady... Has some issues again. Cook, where did the cookhouse go? Yeah, we're already going to need that other mine set up at some point soon as well. Because I would like to get iron production going up. So that we can actually make uh, like iron gear and stuff. Yeah, hey, confront the goblins. That's what I thought. There seems to be a lot of repeatable quests. Which uh, in one way is kind of annoying. But on the other hand... Gives us uh, some money, at least, I guess. Now I'm looking at it, actually. Next to the stamina bar, there seems to be this diamond that now grows gl glows green. Every time I use the kick, that actually shows up. I'm not sure if it was their last episode, or last episodes. And I was just blind, which could totally happen. But that's at least a good indicator 
for whenever my charge and kick is ready. If I could actually hit the fucking charge. Now that I upgraded the dash to level 2, dealing 2 chunks of damage is actually pretty nice. Okay, well we dealt with the goblins. He really should just move into town, to be honest, if he doesn't want to have this happen again. Yeah, they really should just... They, they need more random repeatable quests, or... They should have him show up less often. So let's see, what are we going to be building? Herbalist? Or brewer? Well, I guess it will be herbalist, because we don't have the money for enough something else. So currently the plan is to eventually have more farm plots over here if we need them. Like, the wheat is 100% full all the time, so I think we just make way too much food at the moment. Which is a good thing, because it means we can have more villagers eventually. I want to put something cool in the middle here, just like around the town. And I put it this way, so we can kind of expand it this way a little bit. Let's also check out the pier, let's see what that does. Doesn't have a roof on it, this little house? Okay. I need to ask someone about glowing mushrooms. This really is just running around for questing, to be honest, at this point. I <laughs> really need the money. God damn it, come back here. Honestly, all of these don't really give me anything special. Which is quite annoying. They give us a good amount of money, though. This entire episode is going to be based on money. We need the money. Actually, what the heck am I talking We can just make tools and sell it to Shady. Is this what they call stupid? Actually, I also still need iron armor as well. Just may as well just make that too. Tried. She made the special stuff. And apparently there was another earthquake. Is it really always masterwork though? I mean, that's good. That is really good. It does seem to be always, uh, what's it called, masterwork, so we just may as well remake the hammer as well then. We're out of iron now though, can't even remake the hammer. Let's see if we can make the shield. We can't do that either. Ooh, that's no good. Well, let's see, what was the earthquake? It's probably the goddamn rat man again. I don't like how the dash actually does quite a bit of damage now. Not really that much to these guys still, which is quite sad. But then again, my hammer also doesn't really do anything to these guys. Probably check the other things. Also, there is a weapons mastery thing. So we should probably check that out as well. Knock him down and focus on the golem for now. That means let's start working on this brewery. Requires a farm, so what if, hear me out, we'll just place it right next to the farm. You know, it's a brewery, they sell beer here probably, and that way, you know, when, they're, when the dwarves are done with their long day of work, they can walk home, but on the way home, they can also just grab some beers. And hopefully they sell it for profit, because I want the fucking money. But uh, doubt, doubt they will do that. Oh, this one is uh, this is a different quest. Treat, trick or treat. Speak to Shady the Goblin. And ask about his friend's illness. Now that could be quite interesting. The brewery is also just done, so that is. Uh, I hate how I always run out of town right when the things are done. Find a special plant that Shady needs for his friend. Oh, this guy has a shield and he uses it too. He needs to get out of here. I wonder how far this world stretches as well. It doesn't go far the other way. So before we get the flower, let's actually just check. It seems like this is kind of the end here, though. Yeah, you can already see the ocean there. So this isn't that big of a map. Where the fuck is this? Flower? Something is wrong, return back to town. Okay. Well, I know that the thing is called trick or treat, but... 
Did not expect to just uh, pass out because drugs. Um, okay. Your heart sinks as you see the banner flying in your town. There are signs of the struggle and all your fellow dwarves are gone. The flag leaves no doubt this was the work of the orcs. After taking a moment to chop down the offensive flag, it's time to get some answers. Shady must know what happened here. I swear, if it's just a prank, that'd be kind of sad, or kind of annoying, that they called the quest Trick or Treat. So, my friend tricked you, tricked me. Okay, well, that is, uh, where are the orcs? Okay, well, speak to him when you're ready for him to cast the spell. We know our orc. Oh, cool, even the layout changes, that is pretty sick. Like the quest layout. It actually looks a lot cooler this way too. We stay orc because look cool. Okay, well I'm more satisfied with this if Shady was actually tricked as well. The why they didn't capture him or me is uh, kind of beyond me though. Speak with the leader, but who is the leader? Well, I can't speak to him, so I assume it's just this guy. Quest complete. Oh, so now we're on a completely different island. Well, I'm gonna wait with that till next episode. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.